Sean answer carefully are you a Nick Cannon drumline type dude or a Columbus short stomp the yard type dude think carefully. A Columbus short stomp the yard type ass nigga but to be honest with you like there's nothing wrong with the Nick Cannon drumline type either you know what I'm saying. I watch both movies I love both movies to a, to a high degree but like Chris Brown died in the first 20 seconds of, of Stomp the Yard, bro. That was like some generational shit that nobody saw coming. Niggas was mourning over that nigga for mad long, bro. Like, I was really reenacting the whole Chris Brown shit, you know, standing on my elbows. You know what I'm saying? For, like, mad long. Just in Chris Brown solidarity before the Rihanna shit. You know what I mean? Like, let's not play. You got to be honest with yourself. You feel me? So Megan Good was in there looking fine as fuck. You know what I'm saying? There were other, you know, situations to enjoy within the movie. Good soundtrack, I believe, as well. You know, I just took it more serious. I just took it more serious, bro. It is it, it is what it is. Imagine executing your best dance move in your entire life, then getting shot for it. Fucking legend. I'm saying they killed that nigga for it. They literally said, yo, you not getting away with this, boy. He killed him. Like, what the fuck? Shit crazy as hell. Never knew Chris was in that movie. So <laughs> like, like, that's crazy. That's insane. Nigga seen the preview and thought he was gonna be the main character. I'm not gonna lie, I got hurt for a quick little minute when he died. But I'm like, you know what, bro? It is what it is. And I get it. And Columbus Short never really had no other moment beyond that. Granted, he started beating on, you know what I'm saying, women and shit like that, but like after that, it was it was over, bro. I think he was in that one Christmas movie. I never saw that nigga ever again. Shit, wow. Preach your truth, fuck nigga. Why, why are you talking to me like that? He did? I mean, that's what they said. I mean, I don't know if it's a legend or not, but I, I'm pretty sure, like, I remember seeing a big controversy about that a long time ago. And the nigga never really did nothing in the, in the movie scene for real like that. That was, like, of no worthiness, you feel me? But... It is what it is, bro. It is what it is. Back shots. What do you mean by that? Calling this Christmas that one Christmas movie is nuts? You acting like this Christmas was like this legendary generational movie. It wasn't. It was cool. But it didn't go where you thought it was going to go. Niggas are not gathering around on Christmas Day to watch this Christmas. I'm sorry, they're not. You're chatting. You're chatting. You're chatting. You're chatting. Because if you think that's true, bro, like, I'm sorry, bro. It's not true. <laughs> It's not true, bro. Just seeing if you down for real. Okay, I mean, I feel that. Why are you hating on that movie? I'm not hating on the movie. You, That's just a movie you're going to see a couple times in your lifetime, but it's not going to be like a staple. Like, damn, here come Christmas. Hey, y'all, let's gather around. We got to watch this movie. You feel me? It's just not one of those. Black people are not. They just not. They not doing that. You're going to see it a couple times in your life, though. You will see it a couple times, but like, it's not one of those. I didn't say this Christmas wasn't a good movie or decent. I just said it's not one of those staples where we got to gather around and watch it every, 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 like every year. It's not true. I bet. Oil up. I'll be there in five. What, what are you talking about? It's not no Polar Express. It's not no, it's not no, it's not no Polar Express. It's not no fucking Home Alone. Unfortunately, I don't want to put that out there, that type of negative energy out there, but it's no Home Alone. It's no it's no Jack Frost. I mean, we're not watching Jack Frost either, though. Let me chill out on that because that would have been crazy. But um, shit, what other Christmas movie that was like had like a black cast was like fire? I forgot. I'm, I'm drawing a blank. Niggas saying I'm playing. I'm not. You're not watching this Christmas. How many of y'all watch this Christmas on Christmas? I'm waiting on niggas to lie. I'm waiting on niggas to lie. You're lying. It's just cap. It's just cap, bro. I'm sorry. You just cap. You just lie. You're a fucking liar. That's all you are. That's why your mom don't fuck with you. You don't know how to fix your mouth to tell the truth. Am I bleeding? Oh, no, I'm not. No, but I'm Caribbean. That's cool. You watched it 10 years ago? I can't remember the last time I watched that movie, bro. You know a Christmas movie that's beautiful to watch? This is a beautiful Christmas movie. Um, Shit, what's it called? Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We be watching this on Christmas all the time, bro. Oh, God. Is The Nightmare Before Christmas a Christmas movie? We be watching this on Christmas all the fucking time, nigga. This is a year. This is a yearly movie. This some shit you gotta watch every year. Christmas, Fourth of July. You feel me? Chill shit, you know what I mean? 
Speaking of niggas that look like Chris Brown that didn't make it far in the movie, this nigga went out crazy. How have I lost my mind? Never watched this? You never watched The Menace of Society? Are you fucking crazy? So what y'all gonna do? We may have gonna reject. Nah, the ending of Minister Society had me fucked up for a little bit. I'm gonna be honest. I'm gonna be honest. Shit had me fucked up for a little minute. This was funny though, I'm not gonna lie. Not a great movie. Had a message though. Get your ass up out the car, nigga. Get the fuck out! Break yourself, nigga! Yourself. Just know, chat, if this ever happened to me on some, like, Cali shit, the niggas with accents come up and really get me up out my shit. Like, bro, look at the gun this nigga got, bro. Imagine, di I'm sorry, bro, but dying in the 90s had to be crazy, bro. Look at the equipment these niggas had. I'm sorry, bro, the catchphrases that you had to hear before death. This the last shit you heard, break yourself? Are you fucking crazy? I'm sorry, bro. It's just not... All right, bro. Look at his gun. Look at his gun. Look at the make. Bitch. Get your motherfucking ass up out Look at the way he fitted. This the nigga that dropped me? Come on, man. All right, nigga, chill. Can't get out the car, man. Come on, dude. No, for real, for real made me realize LA in the 90s was crazy. I know people had to watch over their shoulders, man, no oh man. Man. Get your ass up out the car. Get up out the car. All right. Get up. All right, nigga, I'm coming. Break yourself, nigga. Yeah, nigga, I got you, all right. Get your motherfucking ass up out the car now. And they look like the they look. The funniest part is when Kane robbed the dude and made him order his food, lol. I mean, but he was a lick, though. Money man. I forgot the type of shit, the type of whip that he drove out in, but he didn't have to. He knew where he was at. He, I'm not saying that he deserved it, but he was asking for it. He really was. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I just hopped on ass about the car. They got me. You know what I'm saying? An underrated Christmas movie is Bad Santa. I'm not watching that shit more than once. I watched it more than once, but like I'm not watching it more than once. Bitch, move. So that nigga do you? Nigga, fuck you. Damn. That being a ch man, come on, dude. They getting Jack. Look at the lingo. Look at my niggas. Look at my these the niggas that's gonna save me. Look at my niggas. But you know what? Ain't nothing changed, bro. Cause they still dress like that. Niggas are using this drip as aesthetic today, so I can't really be mad. They was ahead of their time. They got in the whip. This nigga can't see because he decided to blow the nigga brains over the windshield. Nigga wiping it with his hand. Like, this the nigga that got me out the way, bro. This is who it was? Twitching and shit. Here comes Sharif, dumbass. He like, let's save this nigga. His brains all over the concrete. Sharif staying with this nigga. Harold, this nigga named Harold. Y'all really willing to let me die over a nigga named Harold? Nigga, I know we cousins, but nigga, his family didn't give a fuck. Okay, that name, you're not making it far in life. He gone. I'm with Lorenz. But I'm not gonna be not too much on Harold though, cause Harold in the '90s is common. Get him in the car. Damn, Sharif. Damn, I just thought about it. Sharif didn't make it either. They got his ass about the way too. Fuck. Huh. They really just clipping niggas, dude. I forgot this nigga didn't make it neither. On some peacemaker shit. That's just so crazy. Tate's best role? Is this Tate's best role? 
Nah, I'm taking Dead Presidents. I'm still taking Dead Presidents. Is it possible to watch some classic hood movies on Twitch? Possibly for a 12 hour? Uh, I would like to, but you know, Twitch gonna get me out the way, I, I would assume. Okay, Sean, answer carefully. Are you a Mari and you got served type dude, or are you a the black dude from Save the Last Dance type dude? What the fuck type of question? Okay, to be honest, all right, listen though. What? Okay, but who? I'm sorry, wait. Sorry, wait. Bro, oh my god, my heart. Why would you ask me that? Why would you ask me that? It's not about being a milkman. Say the Last Dance was an incredible movie, just like overall. Overall. If we compare in story to story, and you genuinely watch both movies, no bias, you're going with Save the Last Dance. It's the facts. It's the facts. Now, 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 um, what you, uh, 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 what, uh, uh, you got served is cool. It's a cool movie. You got served is cool movie. But looking at the story side by side, all bias aside, you watch both movies, you pay attention to the storyline. You got to go with Say the Last Dance. I'm sorry. You just do. You just do. It's not about black. It's about better. It's about better, better movie, better experience, better story. These bro, all right, I'm I'm about to show you the the bullshit and say the last thing, bro. Okay, you cuz you want to you want to talk, you want to chat, bro. You want to just say shit. Let me show you some bullshit. You want to see some bullshit. What the fuck was it called? You got sir? You got sir. All right, bro. That little Kim in this movie looking fucking crazy. All right, bro, yeah. Look at this nigga, man. Look at these niggas, man. Wait, they got the full movie on here. Uh, chat, should I watch it? No, nah, I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I ain't going to do too much. I ain't going to do too much. Let me relax. Let me relax. I mean, I could. It's just a YouTube. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. I'm going to chill. But I'm, I'm going to take a scene from here. I'm going to take a scene. This is the most dumb. This is the dumbest scene in the world, right? What was his name in the movie? Marcus Marshall. Look at this nigga, man. First of all, these niggas was taking drugs. They was delivering drugs, all right, on some cool shit, calm shit. This nigga thought it was still a good idea to go without his mans, to go deliver the shit, and got Jack. He thought shit was just about to be good with a whole pack. Uh, you got a bag? This is a dumb movie. This is a stupid fucking movie. This movie's just dumb. It's dumb. Just for this one scene alone, I never respected it. I never respected it. You were begging for it. And then you got mad at your mans for being with your sister. I don't give a fuck if it was drugs. It's, it's portraying drugs. You get what I'm saying? You get it. It's the same shit. Bro, all right, bro. Look at this nigga, man. Look at this dude. No defense. No gun. No nothing. They whooped this nigga's ass. Not only did they not get back at the niggas that stole their shit, they went back to the nigga they got it from saying, we got Jack. Actually, no, one nigga. You bitch ass nigga. You went by yourself and now you mad at me because I was getting pussy. We ain't boys. We ain't nothing. We ain't nothing. And I saw my mama, you ain't getting with my son. 240 quality is insane. Then go home and stop acting like a hoe. Hey. She ain't even do nothing yet. She didn't even do nothing yet. Now you you gonna call her something crazy when I ha when I tell you what I'm gonna do to her. But like she didn't even do nothing yet. What the fuck? Omarion, five foot five. How do I take this movie serious? Marcus Houston is five foot seven on his best day. Omarion, not even eye to eye. Where's the threat in the room? Nobody in this room was taller than Marcus Houston. And this nigga five seven and a half. Y'all niggas grown. Y'all out of high school. Where was the growth spur? Where did they find y'all? How did they find? No, seriously. How did they find a group of five foot seven and under niggas for this particular movie? Steve Harvey looked fucking giant compared to these niggas in the movie. I'm just sorry. I'm not body shaming. I'm just wondering. I don't know. <laughs> this is crazy, Fitz. I 
I can't see nobody's face. This quality make it crazy. I'm sorry. This quality make it insane. Um, my man's right here. He's trying to dance and get his shit back right in the living room. It ain't really happening. This nigga, they, like, they had a training montage for this nigga to be curling 50 pounds. They ran up on this nigga outside his own crib, right? Meanwhile, it would have been super simple for these niggas to just knock on the door. But they waited for the nigga to come outside. I don't even know how he got outside. This nigga lost his glasses trying to grab this little nigga, bro. You telling me grandma ain't see this out of her peripheral? They literally pulled up while she was still in the street. Meanwhile, the same nigga that you said ain't your boy, we ain't friends, we ain't cool. You basically left him out to dry. You ain't tell him, yo, old boy probably gonna be looking for you or something. Like, he could have pulled up on him too. And you just, you just don't give a fuck. You ain't care. And you don't return my call? No. I mean, yeah. Well, now you want to talk. I didn't tell you to talk. You literally just asked me a question, you fat ass nigga, but all right, I'll be quiet. I, I could work it off. <laughs> this is not better. <laughs> this is not better. It's just not. I'm never saying that to a nigga. What do you mean? I could work it off. You might as well put daddy at the end of it. Hey, I don't trust nobody. Mm. In my eyes, you're guilty until proven innocent. But you ain't put a bullet in me. So you fake gangster. You fake gangster, bro. Just say it. You ain't got the heart to really kill me. You would have been done it. You could have been did it. Why are you talking at this point? Money. Nah, that's so crazy. Get your money. Finger flicked in the back seat with the nigga you owe money to and the bodyguard outside your grandma's crib and you don't blow these niggas to smithereens? I'll even let you tell me when you can get me my money. Yeah, all right, bro. Six months? <laughs> this nigga said six months is crazy. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Okay, I give him that. That was funny. That was funny. That was funny. That was funny. They got it. They got it. <laughs> nigga said six months. <laughs> You'll never walk. Let alone dance again. You squeezing my thigh in the back seat? Look what I started, lol. Breakdown. Save the last dance on why you chose it. You squeezing my thigh in the back seat? Who would have thought? Like, bro, I'm underage. I'm literally a minor still. Almost maybe possibly. Who would have thought that Marcus Houston would just become this nigga later on in life? Shit crazy. Not going to be too much on their dance moves because it was crazy back then. But it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just can't be on that type timing. Now, let me show you who's more intimidating, right? I watched all that. And that's cool, I guess. But let me see. Let me show you something. I'm going to just show you one scene. Now, these scenes in Say the Last Dance are crazy. I'm not going. <laughs> oh, no. Wait. Wait, wait. But wait, 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 wait. Before you. Oh, nah. Nah, this is crazy. All right. This might be insane. All right, bro. Oh, no. No, no, no. Chill. All right. Wait. I didn't expect. I didn't know. No, no. Because I didn't know. All right, I, I, I'll be charitable. Okay, I'm, I'm, <clears throat> if I gotta be charitable, I have to show both. Okay, these are both crazy. I'll give you, I'll give you, okay, I'll give it to you. It's crazy, it's crazy, it's crazy. It don't help my case. It's crazy, it is crazy, it is crazy. Actually, I think I should walk away. I should walk away. Nigga want what they have. No, I don't. Fit is insane with Tim. This not that crazy. This is not that crazy. His fit is not that crazy. He's teaching her how to be black. No, he was showing her how to dance. That's not, that's not, was not the same thing. Not a fit that she ended up wearing later was crazy. It's not nasty. It's not nasty. Okay. But what's more intimidating? It's still my pick. Yes. It's a better story. Violence. Violence, chat. Intimidation. Fuckery. Culture. Shit crazy, right? So what he basically did in that very instance was basically refer to an earlier situation where there was a shootout at a basketball game. And my man's right here that he kicked down was on his stomach crawling because the bullets was flying over his head. Crazy to say, but it's also crazy to acknowledge the sneak diss in that exact moment. Very menacing energy. 
is a reflex action in the heat of the moment. Now, you just playing rude and wrong to bring that shit up and mix company. I'm gonna go home, are you ready? No, he's not ready. He's talking to me. It's an A and B conversation. You gotta go see yourself cell phone, right? Fuck you. Bitch, I'm okay. Man, what the hell is your problem, man? See, this is crazy. This is crazy. Q from Moesha bugging out. Right. Whoa. All right, bro. She look good with braids. That's what I was saying. She valid. She got on the, the, the hoop air. <laughs> nah, chill. You gonna take that bitch back and won't even cover mine? Because you're wrong, Malachi. No, you wrong. You been wrong. You ain't even worth shit no more. Damn. Violence. But see, you got to really understand the situation combined collectively. They were boys. And then there was a wedge that was driven between them. One didn't want to do crime. The other one did. And then my other girl right here, too. Like, I'm just saying. I'm just saying when you really think about the things from the beginning up until this point, it's like the story is expanding. And people are growing apart and shit like that. You feel me? And look at the music in the background. The music in this movie is way better than the music on on you guys serve. You gotta be honest. Come on, we could at least we could at least give it that. At least, at least you got you at least gotta give it that. The soundtrack for this was way better. I'm just sorry, bro. No way, my man's just letting me punch him in the face and his people around, and we just not. He not trying to whip my ass, bro. But he loved me though. He loves me. So that's the difference. That's why I understood. It's not unrealistic because my mans would never really want to hurt me, especially in front of my bitch. He kind of ate that. I mean, he went back, but he ate it. He just chose not to fight. He really probably could have just killed him on spot just by looking at him. What do you mean? Do the audition dance one? The audition dance was that was OK, bro. Like, there's nothing wrong with she was dancing for her life and her mom and her boyfriend and her future. Like, don't even she was going to Juilliard. Why are you doing that? Why are you doing that? That was like a, her whole life built up to that one moment. Like, chill. Didn't play it. I don't want to play it. 